Hey guys, Jerry here again, aka The Laughing Man. So I'm back with the trailer project for a car hauler. Uh, so we've got the lacquer put on here. Um, looks, looks pretty decent. Um, see the girls have already run up and down it, getting the uh, footprints on there. Um, but so for today, or for next, we're gonna go ahead and knock out this jack. It's just a little A-frame style. Uh, I got zip tied everywhere apparently. Uh, but so it should just be three bolts and this one should come off, but this one's just busted to hell. Uh, so what I'm going to be replacing it with is this upside down. So it's a 30, or, yeah, 3,500 pound capacity electronic trailer jack. Uh, so it has a manual crank as well as it's electric. Uh, so uh, we've got this at Harbor Freight uh, with coupons about $107. So. Um, before I break that out though, I'm going to go ahead and jack up the tongue of the trailer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jack up the tongue of the trailer and go ahead and get this old one off. So, get back to you in a minute. Just took the jack off. It looks like I got some spider eggs up in here, so you know, make sure you kill all your spiders. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and take a look at what comes inside this one here. Again, this is the Hallmaster from Harbor Freight. That says that it looks like it comes with a fuse, paperwork. Not read that. Comes with lock washers. That's always good. I guess I you guys in print, but so lock washers. Oh man, they got taste stuff taped everywhere on this thing. That's all. Up, up the new deck already. So zip tie holding the wires together. Uh, so this is going to be, I believe, just a positive wire, and the ground is going to come through here. So I'll probably have to grind some of this down so that it'll make contact. And like I said, it comes with the lock washers. So I'm go ahead and cut that off. Those later. All right. All right. So. Definitely looks better than the piece of junk that was on here. So uh, let's go ahead, uh, remove this clip here, if I can get it. Right. Pull that off so that that'll come off. So that I can drop this through the neck of the trailer real quick. Alright guys, so we're back here again with the uh, trailer jack for the uh, trailer project. It's still not fully bolted down or anything, uh, but I had to stop. It's about a week later. Um, but So we went ahead and had to cut out a cross member down below. Uh, the hole that was in there was too small to fit this jack, so we went ahead and fixed that. Uh, so we do have it working. Um, important to remember with this jack, you need good uh, contact, so you have to remove some of the paint. They do give you these little, uh, uh, almost like washers. They look like they're uh, anti-slip washers um, or anti-reverse washers. However, it's actually uh, supposed to cut into the metal as you tighten it down so that you get a, a contact. Uh, so this jack here actually has work lights for it. Um, so it's not the fastest jack in the world, but you know when, when you're trying to lift stuff up, it does work good, um, hopefully. So the only thing that we really have to do next is we're going to go ahead and reattach this foot here. And it comes with a pen. So this rides up inside. I'm going to keep it relatively low. I'll adjust later if I have to. Uh, so your foot just goes on there like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lower it real quick. So 
again, you can see that uh, mine is not full of voltage down, so I keep losing electricity here. Um, but in a nutshell, that's how this works. I'll get this all buttoned down completely. Uh, with this one, there's also a manual override up here on the top. So this one will be going into the uh, uh, toolbox that goes on here. But if you don't have power for whatever reason, you can still raise and lower your trailer. Uh, it's a nice rubberized, watertight, hopefully, uh, seal. Um, again, so my battery is going to be inside the toolbox, so that it should always be attached here. All right. But uh, so that's pretty much it for this portion of it. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten all these down so that I, I've got a good connection. Um, other than that, the you know jack seems like it's going to work pretty good. Hopefully, there's no issues with it. Uh, again, this one came from Harbor Freight, so you get everything you need in the bag except you know the saws and stuff to cut the, the proper size holes that you might need for your A-frame trailer. So. Uh, but I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, we're going to keep working on this trailer project. We still got some more things to do. Um, as far as the finish goes, I like how the Kona finish came out. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.